Hello, and thank you for joining us for this special edition of Light Matters. I'm your host, Justine Murphy. Photonics Media followed the photons all the way to San Francisco this month for SPIE's Photonics West 2017. For many in the industry, the year truly begins with this event. It's a symbol of optimism and excitement for the potential of photonics and light-based technologies and highlights innovation in research, technology, and more through courses and workshops, symposia, and plenary talks. The event also encompasses SPIE BIOS, the world's largest biophotonics, biomedical optics, and imaging conference, and LASE, which focuses on laser manufacturing, laser materials processing, micro nano packaging, and much more. More than 1,300 companies offer product demonstrations too. Here, this is actually yeah, that's pretty interesting. It may not look that interesting, but if you think about what we've actually done, this is actually fiber that's woven into a cloth. And oh, you wow. see different designs of the fabric, and we actually have woven the fiber in through here, and then we've lit we've lit it up with light. So you actually get an idea of what we can be done or what can be done. Right, so this is a uh, sensor that uh, from a company called Chelsea Technologies Group that is used to measure PAH, or polyaromatic hydrocarbons, in uh, the shipping industry. So typically what is happening is the, they are trying to uh, purify or monitor the uh, status of the different exhausts that are coming out of a ship to help minimize the pollutions that are coming out. So here we have the first uh, frequency comp spectrometer that okay. can be uh, bought as a standalone instrument as opposed to, to frequency comps which are available as, as lasers themselves. Um, the nice thing about frequency comps is they're broadband lasers and there is an exact information on where their individual colors are and uh, we exploit this to do a very high resolution and a very fast spectroscopy. The SPIE Startup Challenge is an opportunity for aspiring entrepreneurs and development stage companies to pitch their light-based technology product ideas to a team of business development experts and venture capitalists and garner feedback while making new connections. Cash prizes and products are awarded to the top innovators. This year, Salino Biotech took first prize for its technology that enables gene therapies using lasers and nanofabricated substrates. Garnering second place was IC Touch with its technology that ultimately allows blind or visually impaired people to see by translation of visual information that is captured by a camera to stimulate the cornea. Third prize went to Lumetica for its new series of accessible and affordable medical imaging technology. The week also highlights some of the industry's best at the PRISM Awards for Photonics Innovation, an annual event co-sponsored by Photonics Media and SPIE. Known to many as the Oscars of the photonics industry, the awards recognize top companies and products as chosen by a panel of judges who represent all fields of the photonics industry. Winning innovation this year includes the first biophotonics system available for non-invasive testing for active infectious diseases developed by Rapid Biosensor Systems, a device by TrueTag Technologies that captures and processes a full multi-megapixel hyperspectral data cube without the need for external processing, and ThorLab's mid-IR supercontinuum laser that is the first femtosecond fiber laser pumped source designed to accelerate instrument development. For more information about the winners and their winning products, visit photonics.com. Okay. More than 20,000 people come together each year from all corners of the globe for this largest conference in the photonics industry, and each with their own expectations and experiences. I come to Photonics West because I enjoy learning more about the optics industry and meeting people. As a student, uh, coming to Photonics West enables me to really connect to my nature and explore opportunities. I'm coming here every year for quite some time because I like to see the uh, uh, relentless march of uh, technology and it's just fascinating to see uh, all the products that people work so long and hard on. That's it for this month's show. Be sure to visit photonics.com for all of the latest industry news, as well as comprehensive webinars, podcasts, and more. Until next time, keep following the photons.